my good friends, you got Gorge, your hurt and hippie here for Monday. Yeah, Monday. And this one really sucks. You know, I had a fantastic weekend. I really had a good weekend. And uh, I had my both my sons here. We The weather was good. We just really had a blast. But because of it, really tired today, really beat, really need to lay down. Very little sleep. But that's not what this is about. Oh, excuse me. Shout out to Ace Parody who asked for a specific video about my own sobriety. What was it about my drinking? Tell the story. Okay, you got it. I will say, I have always been a lover of beer. And there was a time from about 20 years old to maybe 20... 223 where I drank a lot of whiskey. I really liked whiskey. But then I got, you know, at 20, at 19, I got married. And by 23, 24, I was single looking after three kids. And uh, so I left booze alone for a long, long time. And then my, my business life got pretty busy. And I was with Canadian Pacific Railway, I still am, and traveled a lot. I got into pretty well every night, two or three beer, pretty well every night. Before that, before I started traveling, beer was Friday night and Saturday night. Maybe if there was a good game on Sunday, maybe some Sunday afternoon. That was it for my drinking. And even then, the max I could drink was five or six beer. But then I went into a daily thing for years, traveling 300 days a year, uh, always at the bar at night with the other, with your other comrades and uh, just trying to get through the days. It affected me. About May of 2003, I was finding myself very lethargic. My body hurt. Uh, I had some pains that were not usual, and my own boss said, you really got to get this checked out. Got a good doctor, looked it up, started getting a whole bunch of tests, and then I got that awful call. Come in and see me, we got to talk. It was June 3rd, June 5th, 2003. 10 o'clock in the morning, my doctor told me I had six months to two years at the outside to live, that I had cirrhosis of the liver. There's no turning around cirrhosis. And with mine having been caused by drinking, I could go on the uh, transplant list and probably not get there in time. It was a tough day. It, I remember it so clearly. I remember driving home in the fog, stopping halfway home because I was just crying my eyes out. It, it, it hit me. I'm a young father with grown children. They, they were uh, adult by the time they told me this, but not very. You know, my youngest was 17 then. My youngest is eight now. But I, uh, what a day. And I, Stopped on the way home and bought a six pack of beer. I got home and I started putting them in the fridge, realizing the habit that I had just done and the habit that I had to break. And I broke down crying and I dumped every single beer. And I took the wine that was in the fridge and I dumped it. And for years, I did not even allow alcohol in my house. Have I had any since 2003? Yeah. Oh, well, let me finish this off. Um, I truly believe in the power of prayer. Those of you who don't, it's okay. Uh, I get it. I've been agnostic. I've been atheist. I'm usually spiritual. And I believe in the power of prayer. I went to a homeopath. I started doing liver cleanses and special cleanses. I started eating super, super good, and I went every three months for new liver function tests, LFTs. And every three months, doctor would say, it doesn't look good, Gord, doesn't look good. Still the same, still the same. 
not getting worse, but not getting better. And uh, this went on for a year and three quarter. I had to go through the terrible pain of telling my adult children that I was passing and asking for friends and family to just pray and hope for the best. I kept working real hard at eating well and being healthy. Seven appointments later, every three months. So that's a year and three quarters later in 2000, five, 2003, 2005, May, April of 2005, my doctor called me back in after a set of tests. Well, first he sent me to go get the test redone, which I found unusual. He had never done that before. Then instead of calling me and just telling me, hey, it's the same as before, we'll see you in three months, he asked me to come in. And it scared me. I thought I was near the end. I felt healthier, but I didn't know. And uh, he, he came in with a smile and he says, I never seen this before and that's why I had your test redone and he put both tests up on the wall and we sat there and looked at them and my LFTs liver function tests four different categories were all within normal parameters he said by the looks of this you could even start drinking again if you were careful but I wouldn't suggest it and I never have yes maybe in 2000 11 I had a glass of wine in 2005 I had a few drinks on my wedding but they gave me in Riga the a Russian doctor gave me something to counteract the alcohol and not let me get drunk and I am now to the point that if I really wanted I could sit here and have a beer and never have another one for another three or four years I know that because two years ago I went for a camping trip with an old buddy an old friend from when I was 15, 16. And he took out beers later in the day and he said, oh, sorry, Gord, I shouldn't have these out. And I said, no, give me one, give me one. And I had one beer. And yeah, the very, that night I craved a second, but I never grabbed it. And the next day I had no craving. And I still have no craving. I will say, uh, not no craving. I will say on a really hot day, I think about a beer that's the glass is sweating and how cold it tastes and how good it tastes. And there are times that I can think, oh, a nice glass of red wine would be so nice right now. But normally, no, I don't think of alcohol. I don't like alcohol. I can't stand the smell of alcohol. And so I, I seriously have not been inside a bar in 10 years and will not go, will not go. So my life changed. My life changed and no longer includes alcohol. I can be around people who drink. I just don't care to be, but I will be if it was an important event. And uh, I would sure like to see the world change to a more healthier thing. You know, you watch all these TV programs and they drink and they drink and they drink. I'd like to see that change, but that's because I went through a change. I'm not saying alcohol's bad. Alcohol is a poison, but so many things we do in life are not the best thing for us, but if it takes off a few years out of our life, but makes the rest of the years better, then that's a choice you need to make for yourself. I know if I started alcohol again, I'd probably only have a few years left. That's not worth it to me. I have an eight-year-old child. I want to be around for an awful long time. That's my sobriety story. I have been, I have not felt a drunk in 13 years. And this June, it'll be 14 years. And I'm pretty proud of that. Peace and cheers, my friend. Love and harmony.